Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Hi, can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. All right, good evening. Yes. Excellent, excellent. How are you? How are you, Odisa? Are you good? Are you bad? How are you? Ms. Pucha, what do you say? It's for me, the question. Okay. How are yes, you? Yes, right now. Yes. No, okay. Um, now I feel good. Oh, good. Okay. And my my day was very hard, but um, the uh, that's why I now I feel I feel a little bit tired, but mm -hmm. I'm here right now. Okay. So you had a hard day today. Mm, sorry to hear yes, that. Yes, it was a very It's a hard day today. Yeah, I hear you. But um thank you for connecting and um connected on time. Um and uh yeah, well uh it, the good thing is that, you know, it's the end of the day, you can relax a little bit and um, hopefully you will feel better, um, you know, after the class, you'll be able to, um, you know, just re unwind and, you know, go to sleep or do whatever you, you want, right? So, yeah, so thank you for, for connecting. Okay. Um, um, mm -hmm. uh, normally I had a bad network. Sometimes I don't, I don't hear you, but I try to stay uh, at in class. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. If okay. you sometimes I don't hear you, mm -hmm. uh, I hope you understand me. Yeah, it's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Um, I appreciate your your effort for uh connecting and everything. So it's okay. Don't worry about it. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Hello, everybody else. How are you? Good to see many of you connected on time. Welcome, welcome. All right, so guys and girls, we're going to start. Um, we're going to be taking um, our attendance. Okay. Um, so let me start by. Um, okay. All right, guys, so remember, we need cameras on for the attendance. And we'll start with Ana Lorena Lovato Orellana. Present teacher. Wonderful, thank you. Carlos Alberto Dominguez Martinez. I'll repeat. Carlos Alberto Dominguez Martinez. No? Okay, just a second. Just a moment, guys.
se me ha trabado acá. Okay. Uh, next we have a uh, Okay. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Eh, Carlos Mauricio Menjibar Caballero. Present. Okay, very good. Thank you. Um, uh, Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present. Okay, very good. Um, Emerson Ulises Monroy Galix. Present. Thank you. Eulice Torres Torres. Present. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Iliana Rebeca Carpio Calderón. Iliana Rebeca Carpio Calderón. Mm, okay. Uh, Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. José Bernardo López Montes. Present. Thank you. Um, José Carlos Argueta Romero. Present, please. Thank you. Present, I'm here. Got it. Thank you very much. José Salvador Bernal, Bernal Quintanilla. José Salvador. ¿Mm? Osman Atilio Serrano. Osman, Atilio Serrano. Sure. Okay. Sure. okay, perfect. Now, hoy sí lo podemos escuchar. Thank you. All right, Juan Carlos Herrera Delgado. Gracias. Thank you. Um, Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menéndez. Present. Excellent. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present. Excellent. Mayra Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Mayra Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Nelson Alberto Pérez Mejía. Nelson Alberto Pérez Mejía. Osman Enrique Hernández. Present teacher. Excellent. Rafael Alexander Serra Díaz. Rafael Alexander Serra Díaz. Ricardo Ernesto Pérez Acosta. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael, sorry, uh, Sandra Abigail Bonilla Cano. Present. Wonderful. 
Sigfrido Ernesto Gomez Guinea. Present. Wonderful. Wendy Maricela Ramirez Guevara. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Um, Wendy, is it possible to turn on the your camera? Thank you. Okay. Y lo otro, Wendy, es de que ahorita solo me aparece usted en la plataforma como Wendy Ramírez. Entonces se puede cambiar su nombre completo para que parezca tal como está en su doble. Y lo mismo Ay. también con Abigail Bonilla. Se toca que él cambie ahí su nombre. Se formateó de una ¿Mm? Se formateó quizás de nuevo. ¿le? Porque lo había sí. puesto. Yo lo pongo. Uh -huh. pa eso okay. pasa. Okay. Eso pasa. Ok. Uh, Sigfrido Ernesto Gómez Guinea. Yes, um, okay. <laughs> ok. Very good. Wendy Maricela Ramírez Guevara. Present, teacher, present. Ok. Um, Mina Elizabeth Alvarenga Rivas. Present, teacher, good evening. Good evening. Irma Evelyn Rodríguez Torres. Irma Evelyn Rodríguez Torres. Y a uh, Amanda Leonela Zamora Miranda. Amanda Leonela Zamora Miranda. Okay. Um, Abigail... person, I'm connected right now. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Nelson. Um, Abigail eh, aparece ahorita solamente como Abigail la Bonilla. Puede cambiar su nombre para que parezca como Sudui, por favor. Okay. All right. So, guys, um, yesterday we started talking. Um, gracias, Sandra. Um, well, yesterday we started talking a little bit about um, uh, the emotional intelligence. And I gave you some slides for you to read. Uh, did you read the three slides in your group? We tried to do it. Good, good, good. I know that maybe it was not that easy and that's okay if you if you thought that it was a little bit challenging that's okay because it should have been a little bit challenging right um it is a little bit of higher level english this is actually an article that was take that is taken from um the forbes magazine and so um you know, if, if if you guys know anything about Forbes magazine, it's a very, um, it, it's a business, it's, it, it, yeah, it's a business uh, magazine, and it has a lot of um, high level English, right? Very, very academic kind of English. So it's okay. <coughs> Excuse me. If it's okay, it's okay that you, you didn't understand everything, not a problem, because you know, it's it's a high level of English. So that's what we're going to do right now. Actually, we're going to start um, the class by um, by completing. Just give me a moment. So we're going to start the class there by <coughs> um, looking at the at the um, at the what's it called um, 
the slides with the information. And that way we can ask questions about the vocabulary or the pronunciation, whatever you um, consider to be the right thing, okay? Um, the thing that you need more help with. Okay, so we are going to start Moment. Just a moment. Okay. All right, um, please tell me if you are able to see my screen. Yes, I am. Yeah, okay. Perfect. Um, okay, so this is... Um, this is the first power, uh, the first slide that I sent you. Um, so I need a volunteer to help me read. Who can help me read? A volunteer? Hi. Anybody? Hey, teacher. I'm, I'm going to try. Okay, uh, Osman. Yes. Perfect. Uh, Go for it. All, all, all teacher. Yes. Uh, yes. All of this. Um, this slide. Yes. Correct. Okay. Ten signs that you have emotional intelligence for today's job market. Brian Robinson, PA's point B. He could know. You, you could know how concept some employers believe that emotional intelligence quantity quotient 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 quotient, quotient. is a val val valuable even more valuable. How do you say value? Valuable. You Val okay. Valuable. Em emotional mm -hmm. intelligence. AI is the ability to accurate, accurately identify, accurately. Under, accurately, okay, identify, understand and manage your own emotion and thus of others, the world economic. Forum ranks emotional intelligence as, as one of the top skill needed to excel at work. The Mackin Kinsey Group identifies the need for so social and emotional skill to wrap at a much faster pace than pace? cognitive pace than pace. cognitive skill pace no okay pace pace yes pace. There you go. yes pace the cognitive skill an expert asserts that this soft Skills are essentials for success in today's global market. Josh Millet, Millet founder and CEO of Criterial Corp, is one of the those business leaders who believes emotional intelligence is increase, increasingly viewed as a critical and strategy, strategy ability for the modern world force i try teacher i try no that's <laughs> excellent good for you Osman. bravo mm -hmm. bravo very good job okay excellent all right so let's start first of all with um the pronunciation you can write in the chat any words that you're not sure about about the pronunciation. Okay. Oops. Sorry. Hmm. 
There we go. So go ahead, write in the chat any words that you consider um, is you're not sure about the pronunciation. First, about the pronunciation. Okay. Hmm. Oh, this weird. Oh my goodness. Okay. Sorry, guys. Just kick up. Antes de la clase, um, eh, actualicé la aplicación de, de Google de, de de Zoom y estoy viendo que han hecho muchos cambios y ahora tengo que adaptarme ahí a, a la nueva forma de. Okay. So, deme un momentito. Quiero ver cómo es esto. Okay, let's try that. All right, so oceans, oceans. Okay, Wait a bit. Be just be very um, patient with me trying to find the words. Some of them I cannot find so quickly. Is that it? I think that's it, right? Any other words? Okay. All right, that's it. That's all for the pronunciation. Okay. So practice, oh, there's one more. No more? Okay, so here we go. The first word is quotient. You can repeat after me. Quotient. 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 No, no. Quo. Quotient. 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 Yes, quotient. Valuable. 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 Uh, valuable. 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 Déjame los audífonos, Keren. Si vos tenés los tuyos. Eh, accurately. 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 Pace. 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 Mm -hmm. Like that. Peace. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the last one is increasingly. 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 Yes. Correct. Good. All right. You got it. Okay. Now let's uh, do the same thing, but for vocabulary. So let's um, try to figure out what are the words that you don't understand.
And you can write in the chat. Anything else? Anything else? No, that's it. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're right. It is in the program. Um, actually, the program is based on the word. Hold on. Where is, where is the word Excel? Oh, yeah. Excel. All right, guys, you're just going to have to give me a little bit of time because I can't find this word. Carlos, maybe you can help me find where a shirt is because I can't see it. Ah. Found it. Actually, mm -hmm. I want, mm -hmm. yeah, thank you. Anything else? Okay. All right, um, so the first word uh, is quotient, okay? Um, and what a quotient is, basically it's a measurement, okay? Um, so we usually, um, when we're talking like, um, it's basically, it's the result like it's a mathematical result, basically. Okay. Um, so when we are dividing something by another thing, that's a quotient. Um, so to give you an example, um, see if I can. Um, imagine that you're doing an, uh, a, a test and you get this, that is your score. So your quotient, your quotient would be 0.8, right? That would be your quotient. Okay. Yeah. So it's a it's 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 a it's a value basically. It's a value. It's a mathematical value used um, obtained by dividing. Okay. Sounds good. Yes. Yes, teacher. Quotient. Quotient. Quo. Quotient. Mm -hmm. Washing. Yeah. Excel. Uh, no, it's not the program. We're not talking about Excel, the program. Um, it, although I'm 
pretty sure that Excel the program was came from the idea of the verb Excel. And the verb Excel, what it means is um, to do something um, outstandingly, to be like, um, to be exceptional or outstanding in something. Okay. So the, your performance, the performance that you make is outstanding, exceptional. Okay. Very, very like something noticeably good, like, but not, not just kind of like, oh, it's good. It's just like, wow, this is something that stands out. That's Excel. And it's a verb. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Extraordinary, extraordinary, right? Mm -hmm. um, extraordinary, exceptional. yeah. But yeah, exceptional, extraordinary, outstanding. So, it, but, like but, 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 but this is this is a verb, right? It's to excel. It means to do something in that way, in an extraordinary way, in an exceptional way, in an uh, outstanding way. Okay. Okay. All right, good. And then we have the word pace. Pace means like a rhythm, rhythm. Okay, everybody understands rhythm? No, I don't know. Rhythm is very similar to Spanish. Rhythm, rhythm. Okay, everyone in the chat, rhythm. Like no, it's the first so, time that I hear that. Very similar to Spanish. Ah, step by a step, a step. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. So, um, what is rhythm in Spanish? Paso. Paso. Mm -hmm. Well, no, no. Rhythm, no. What is rhythm? Um, eh, ritmo. Ritmo. Mm -hmm. No. Exactly. Yeah, ritmo. So a pace is like, it's like a, a, it's like your step, but like it's like the rhythm that the step goes at. So um, when you are taking a step, step by step, but what is the rhythm that you take a step? Like, you take the first step, when do you take the second step? When do you take the third step? When do you take the fourth step? So it's a rhythm, it's like a pattern. So, so when it says here at a much faster pace, it means that you're doing this continuously, like a step, 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 and you're doing it um, faster at a rhythm that is faster. Does that make sense? Don't lose the rhythm. It, it, when it's faster pace, it, it's it it means that the rhythm it gets quicker and quicker and quicker. The steps that you take are quicker and quicker. Okay. Um yes, I got it. Yeah. Okay, assert. Um, assert means like um, to um, to say something um, and say something that you are sure about. Um, to s state, like to make a statement in a way that is very confident. You're confident that that is the right answer. It's like you're saying something and you're sure of it. Sounds good? Yes. Yeah. Any questions, any other questions, additional questions?
Okay. All right. Um, okay. Give me a moment. Okay. Okay, now we're going to the second the second slide. And I need oops. Um volunteer. Actually just give me a moment because it seems like you can't read the bottom part here. So let me make this smaller. Give me a second, guys. Okay. <clears throat> All right, now it should be better. Yeah, it is. Okay. All right, I need a volunteer to help me with this. Me, teacher. Who's me? Oh, Sifredo? Me, teacher. No? Me teacher. Mauricio. Oh, okay. Sorry. Es, yeah. es que cuando, okay. cuando estoy compartiendo, no puedo ver bien quién está hablando, al menos que levanten la, la mano virtual. Okay. All right. Go for it. Um, start. Mm -hmm. Please. Okay. Benefits of emotional intelligence. In practical, in practical terms, people with well-developed emotional intelligence can create and manage relationships more effectively. Nearly told, told me by email, they can work with, with others, regulate their emotions appropriately understand how others are feeling and influencing and inspiring people. Many researchers have found strong link between EA and important organizational behavior, including leadership, performance, or on the job, organizational citizenship, commitment, and teamwork. Now, more than ever, employers want to hire emotional, intelligent people, and why wouldn't they? Employee with a high degree of emotional intelligence know what their feeling, what their emotional need, and how this emotion can affect other people. They also adapt and um, harnessing their emotions to help them solve the problem effectively. Emotional, emotional intelligence Worker make better collaborator. They reduce toxicity in work environment and offer cultivate a less stressful work play for themselves and their college. Thank you. Round of applause. Excellent. Very good job. Thank you for helping us read. Okay, so the same thing, I need you guys to please um, tell me first the vocabulary that um, you are not sure about the pronunciation. Okay, so let's start with that.
Okay, and once again, I'm going to ask you guys to be very patient with me while I find the words. Oh, wow, I can't find it. Ah. Oh. Okay, is that it? Is that it? That's all. That's all? Okay. So, the first word is well-developed. Can you repeat? Well-developed. Well developed. Well developed. Well developed. Well developed. 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 Yes. Mm -hmm. Appropriately. 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 Mm -hmm. Appropriately. Yes, appropriately. Organizational citizenship. Organizational citizenship. 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 Organizational. Organizational citizenship. Citizenship. Yes. Um. Organizational citizenship. Organizational. Organizational citizenship. Yes. Correct. Okay. Um, next we have commitment. 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 Um adept. 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 Mm -hmm. Harnessing. 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 Mm -hmm. Harnessing. Themselves. 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 Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I'm actually going to add a few words here because I noticed 
we might have trouble with these words. Colleagues. College. No, no. College, no. College is otra cosa. College is like university. This is colleagues. Colleagues. Can you repeat? Colleagues. 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 Yes. Colleagues. Colleagues. And I also noticed that this word is can also be possible. It can also be challenging. So this is toxicity. 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 Yes. Very good. All right. Um, and I think it's so new too that I really noticed that could be a plus problem. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Okay. Um, um, okay. Anything else? Okay. All right. So now we can, uh, we can write down the words that you're not sure about the meaning of those words. <clears throat> words that you're not sure about the meaning. Really? There's nothing? Are you sure? That's it. Okay, that's one word. Mm -hmm. What else? Is that the only word? It. Okay. All right. So that's the first one. Oh, this okay. Anything else? Okay, so um, the first word is commitment. And commitment, what it means is um, when you are um, willing to put time and effort into something um, that you, um, you dedicate yourself to that that cause, that's commitment. You dedicate it's yourself to like that cause. Like a compromise? No, no, okay. Remember what we, we talked before about this, that those are false friends. Compromise is not the same as compromiso, mm -hmm. right? We talked about that, right? So, because compromise means to, uh, to come to an agreement, right? 
To compromise means to come to an agreement. So I want this, you want this. We're going to come in the middle. That's a compromise. Commitment is to dedicate yourself to something. And in Spanish, you say... Mm. Comprometerme. Compromiso. Mm -hmm. Compromiso. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, so just don't 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 be careful don't be scared, uh, or better said, don't confuse um, those two ideas. Okay, so commitment is compromiso, but compromiso is not compromise. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Um. The other word is um compromise. The other word is adept and it means um to become like an excer expert. Okay? To be very skilled at something. When you have a lot of skills for something and you are an expert, you are adept. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm. Does that make sense? The best. Yeah. Hmm? It's like uh, the best in something or the best person. Yeah, like an ex expert. Mm hmm okay yeah and harnessing means to control something uh but control something so that you can use the power of that thing in the best way okay so if you have something that is very powerful and you are able to control that powerful thing and you but you can control it so that you can use the power in the best way possible then you are harnessing that in this case you're harnessing the emotions so the emotions are something that can be very powerful uh, but you are able to control them and use them to your advantage Does that make sense? Yes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Please stop me and ask and me. If you don't understand, they, it's okay. You can tell me. Just take, just take the benefits of something. Yeah, something that is powerful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And to be able to use it to your advantage. Okay. Okay. All right. Good. Yes. In Spanish is um, aprovechar. Something like that. Mm, something like that. Yeah. I, I'm not sure exactly the, the exact word in Spanish. Let me see if I can. I can find it. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah aprovechar pero aprovechar like aprovechar bien ¿verdad? not it's not, it's not like aprovecharse right which is kind of different um or you can also use it like explotar um pero explotar de algo bueno, algo positivo. Sí, voy, ajá, exactly. Yeah. Voy a explotar mis, mis habilidades. Right? Like, yeah. Ok. Ok. Um, great. Let's, um, let's continue. Um, Sorry, guys, I'm, I'm trying to, okay. 
I know. I better do it this way. It's easier if I do it that way. Es que, es, es que sí, estoy, estoy, me estoy tratando de acostumbrar porque me está diciendo, acabo de, de hacer el, acabo de, de, ¿cómo se llama? De actualizar. Y está un poco, bueno, están bastante diferentes de como normalmente estoy tratando de adaptarme acá. Just give me a moment. Okay. Um, Okay, now I need a volunteer to help me read the last, the, the last part here. The last. A volunteer? Come on, guys. It's only already reading. That's all I need you to do, reading. Can I teacher it? Absolutely. Mirna? Yes. Yes. Go ahead, Mirna. Okay. Actually, Mirna, just, a sec just, just sorry. Sorry, Mirna. I, I just realized something. Creo que la última, la, la última línea no se mira bien. Déjeme hacer ajustes acá porque... Okay. Yeah, I think that's better. Okay. Okay, go for it, Mirna. Okay, Millet explains that in emotional intelligence is especially critical in roles that require and maintaining positive interpersonal relationships social leadership or sales roles, roles that require emotional resilience, no, resilience, <laughs> like a healthcare or emer emergency response or where emotional labor, managing feelings and emotion to maintain a job or, uh, or a relationship is central to the work role. Hope to know if you have emotional intelligence, but is emotional intelligence actually quantifiable? How are employers evaluating the friendly, friendliness, personal, personability, and sociability of workers before they have been even seen them interact with others? Me, let's say typically an objective test is used because job seekers aren't always good judges of their own emotion basis, abilities and tendencies. They, they might be prone to select the answer that they believe will be most impressive rather than the most accurate answer. Plus, as a general rule, as a general rule, we tend to overestimate our own self-awareness. He cites research in the Harvard Business Review showing that 95% of our things we are self-aware, but only 10 to 50% actually are self-aware. For that reason, standardized objective assessments are the best measurements of emotional intelligence. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mina. Bravo. Good job. Okay. Same drill that we've been doing before. 
please write in the chat. Oh, sorry. Let me get back to the other one. Yeah. Uh, There you go. Okay. All right. So please write in the chat vocabulary that you're not sorry that you're that you don't know how to how to pronounce. Okay, if, that you're having trouble pronouncing. Words that you're having trouble pronouncing. That's okay. I can't find, oh yeah, I've got it now. <laughs> okay, I think that's it, right? Any others? Is it just the pronunciation? Okay. All right. Um, so the first, uh, oh, hold on. Just give me a moment. We're still another word coming up. Oh. Okay. There you go. Oh. 
Um, and I'm going to add a few of my own as well that I think might be a little bit complicated. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, what was the other one I saw? Oh. Okay, so I think that's pretty much the one that, yeah. Those are probably the ones that you're having more trouble with. So we'll start with the first one. Resilience. Can you repeat? Yeah. Resilience. 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 Everybody, resilience. Resilience. Mm -hmm. Health care. Health care. Health care. Health care. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. Um, quantifiable. 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 Friendliness. 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 Mm -hmm. Seekers. 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 Judges. 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 Prone. 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 Overestimate. 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 Self awareness. Self awareness. Self awareness. Self awareness. Self awareness. Self awareness. Oh, uh, self aware. Self aware. Self aware. Self aware. Mm -hmm. Standardized. 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 Mm -hmm. Assessment. 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 Assessments. Assessment. Assessment. Mm -hmm. Measurements. Measurement. Measurement. Measurements. 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 Bueno, Okay, excellent. Okay. Now, now what you could do is uh, write in the chat. No, niña. Vocabulary that um, you're not sure no, the meaning. Okay. Vidas, chutes. Any words that you don't understand? 
the the meaning. Wrong. What do you mean? Um, you can write in the chat. Any other words? That's it? Yes. Um, no more? Anything else? That's all, teacher. That's that? OK. All right, so uh, the first word is seekers. Seekers is, um, well, seekers comes from the word to seek. It's a verb, OK? And um, what it means is uh, to search, to look for, OK? So seekers are pe people that are looking for something. So in this case, job seekers are people who are looking for jobs. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yeah. Is okay. the people who seek. People that seek, yeah. Not sick, seek. Ah, yes. Seek. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not sick people. <laughs> Okay. All right. Um, to be prone wow. to something. Yeah, to be prone, it means to have uh, the, it could be like um, to be likely to do something, to have the tendency of doing something, right? Or being inclined to do something. That's to be prone. Okay. How would you say that in Spanish? To be prone. Propenso. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. Very good. Self-aware. It means um, that you are alert about who, about yourself, about the person you are. That's self-aware. So you know you you are alert of what's going on inside of you okay so you're not just um you're not just a person in in any place but you're actually um a, hi guys sorry i think The electricity has gone out, and um, I'm just letting you know this because my uh, my computer, um, the battery is very bad, so I might lose connection. 